Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu. This is Unrebel the Legends YouTube channel. Umar radiallahu anhu came there with his back bent down and his sword without a shield. He knocked on the door. A companion came from inside and said to Nabi sallallahu alaihi wasallam, Umar is standing outside with his back bent down with his sword. I don't know what purpose he has come here. His uncle Sayyidina Hamza radiallahu anhu was present there at that time. He was very brave. He said to him, let him come inside. If he comes with a good intention, it will be good. If not, I will blow his head with the sword. Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam said again, let him come inside. So the door opened. Umar entered inside. Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam stood up and went towards him. He put his sword in his hand and said, O son of Katab, what purpose have you come here? Sayyidina Umar radiallahu anhu said, O Rasul of Allah, I have come with faith in Allah and his Rasul. Here Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam said loudly, Allahu Akbar. The rest of the Muslims also said Allahu Akbar. Now Umar radiallahu anhu recited the kalima. Then he said, O Rasul of Allah, are we on the right path? Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam said, By the power of that sword in my hand, you are on the right path. Hearing this, Sayyidina Umar radiallahu anhu said, When we are on the right path and the Kafirs are on the wrong path, then why should we violate our religion? Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam said, O Umar, we are not many yet and you can see what condition we are in. Hearing this, Sayyidina Umar radiallahu anhu said, By the power of that sword in my hand, you are on the right path. Before I came to Islam, I fought with them. Now I will go against them. After this, all the Muslims left this place and went to Kabar. Umar was on one side and Hamza was on the other side. They all offered their prayers in the mosque. Quraysh saw this and became angry. At this time, they did not say anything. Umar radiallahu anhu was alone and they attacked him. They also fought. Until the end, the Kafirs left him. This incident took place in the sixth year of Nabu'ah. After converting to Islam, he settled in Mecca for six years. After that, he migrated to Medina with other Muslims. In such a situation, he said to the Kafirs, I am leaving Mecca today. If anyone has the courage, stop me. No one came to him. In this way, he reached Kabar. After that, Rasulullah, sallallahu alaihi wasallam and Abu Bakr radiallahu anhu migrated here. After the mosque was built in Kabar, everyone left for Medina. At the time of migration, Sayyidina Umar Farooq radiallahu anhu was about 40 years old. After that, he lived in this world for 23 years. He stayed in Medina all this time. He attended the mosque built in Nabawi. Rasulullah, sallallahu alaihi wasallam was very close to the answer. He made Ibn Malik his brother. He gave half of his house to him. You can hear the words of Abdullah ibn Jayak in the name of his name. When he heard these words of Nabi Karim, sallallahu alaihi wasallam, Rasulullah, sallallahu alaihi wasallam ordered Sayyidina Bilal to recite the ayah. As he started reciting the ayah, Sayyidina Umar Farooq came and said, O Rasul of Allah, sallallahu alaihi wasallam, I swear by that power that I sent you as a prophet. I also heard these words in my dream. After hearing this, Nabi was very happy. Till today, the ayah of these words is being recited and will be recited till the end of time. In the second year of Hijrat, the Battle of Badr took place. In this battle, Sayyidina Umar Farooq was also involved. In this battle, he killed a brave man named Ashbin Hisham. He was his uncle in this regard. In the following year, the Battle of Uhud took place. In that battle, Sayyidina Umar was also involved. In the Battle of Badr, Umar Farooq's son Sayyidina Hafsa bin Bahan was married to Sayyidina Umar radiallahu anhu on the request of Nabi. He was Nabi's father-in-law. His daughter was the mother of Mumin.
In the fifth year of Hijrit, the Battle of Kandak took place in Shawwal. Sayyidina Umar also lost Kandak. A part of Kandak was given to Sayyidina Umar. There is a mosque named after him in Paraburti, which is still present today. In the sixth year of Hijrit, Nabi was not allowed to visit the Kaaba. He went with the Sangi for 14 years. Among them, Sayyidina Umar radiallahu anhu was among them. The dispute that took place with the Kafirs in the place of Hadabia, Sayyidina Umar radiallahu anhu also had an argument with a few other companions. He came to Nabi and asked him, Are you the Prophet of Allah? Nabi said, I am the Prophet of Allah. He said, Are we not on the right path and our enemy is on the wrong path? Nabi said, We are on the right path and our enemy is on the wrong path. He said, O Rasul of Allah, when we are on the right path and our enemy is on the wrong path, then why should we meet? Say, I am the Rasul of Allah. I do not disobey Allah's command. He helps me. Sayyidina Umar went to Abu Bakr Siddiq and told him the same thing. He said, O Abu Bakr, I am definitely the Rasul of Allah. He cannot disobey his Lord, and he is a helper and a helper. Only his house and his household, that is, every matter, should be allowed to him. The Rasul of Allah said, I am the Rasul of Allah. I do not disobey Allah's command. He helps me. Then Sayyidina Umar was satisfied. The Prophet of Allah came again and the Surah Faf was recited. He looked at Sayyidina Umar and said, We have given you a clear victory. He said, I have recited such a surah that it is the most beloved to me in the world. Sayyidina Umar recited the surah again. He said, Why did you answer such a question after so long? He regretted it all his life. He fasted three times a month. He freed many of his servants. And he offered many prayers. In the seventh year of Hijra, the Battle of Khyber took place. Sayyidina Umar was a part of it. In the seventh year of Hijra, the Prophet of Allah came to Umrah. Two thousand Muslims were with him. Sayyidina Umar was among them. He participated in the Battle of Salsal. The place is called Salsal. Or in that place, there was a spring called Salsal. Muslims come to this spring. Therefore, this battle is called Jati Salsal. In the eighth year of Hijra, the Prophet of Allah came to Mecca with 10,000 weapons. Sayyidina Umar was among them. The Prophet of Allah set up camp far from Mecca. This place is now called Fatima. The leaders of Quraysh sent two people to look for Abu Sufyan. Then Abu Sufyan came to the Prophet of Allah. In this situation, Sayyidina Umar came to him. O Prophet of Allah, allow me to kiss the head of Abu Sufyan. But you did not allow me to do this. At this time, Abu Sufyan converted to Islam. Then the rest of the people of Mecca also became Muslims. After the victory of Mecca, the Battle of Hunayn took place. At the beginning of this battle, the Muslims fell. Only Rasulullah, peace be upon him, was standing with a few companions. Sayyidina Umar, may Allah be pleased with him, was among them. Then Sayyidina Abbas, may Allah be pleased with him, was defeated by the Muslims and the Kafirs. For the Battle of Tabuk, Sayyidina Umar presented half of his wealth to the Prophet, peace be upon him. At the time of Hajjat al-Wada, Sayyidina Umar, may Allah be pleased with him, was also with him. After this battle, Rasulullah, peace be upon him, met these people. In each journey of Hijra, the Prophet, peace be upon him, appointed Osama bin Zaid as the commander of the Islamic army. He ordered the Muslims to fight the Battle of Mutar. In the eighth year of Hijra, the Battle of Mutar took place. In this battle, Osama bin Zaid and many companions were martyred. So the Prophet, peace be upon him, sent this woman. Sayyidina Umar A was also among the great Sahabas.
When Rasul Allah S. A. W. passed away, Sayyidina Umar R. A. did not believe in his death. He announced that the person who said that the Prophet S. A. W. passed away, I will kill him. Then Abu Bakr R. A. He was certain that the Prophet had passed away. After Rasul Allah S. A. W. passed away, the Khilafat issued a national declaration against the Muslims. Then Sayyidina Umar R. A. and Abu Bakr R. A. in front of everyone for the Khilafat. Everyone agreed with him. These are the stories of Sayyidina Umar R. A. about Abu Bakr R. A. Abu Bakr R. A. the Sahabi of Rasulullah S. A. W. with his cave. It is more than all Muslims to be a part of your religion.